When looking up at the night sky, you can be forgiven for thinking that all the stars look similar, but each one has its own unique properties. From Earth, there are two easily observable and measurable stellar features, brightness and colour. But plotting these two properties of stars on their own doesn't really show anything, as observable brightness is affected by another crucial factor, stellar distance. In other words, even though one star may appear dimmer than another, it could actually be brighter, but just further away. When astronomers realised that they should take stellar distance into account, they were able to work out the actual, or true, brightness of stars. The Hertzsprung-Russell, or HR diagram, is named after the two discovering astronomers who used observational data to create a graph to classify and study the evolution of all stars. They labelled one axis of the graph with absolute magnitude, or true brightness of the star, and the other axis with colour, which is linked to the temperature of a star and defines its spectral type. Stars begin their lives in large, dark, cool clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. Pockets within these nebulae can begin to contract, getting smaller, denser, hotter and brighter. These cores are known as protostars. A protostar with too little mass would be too cool and dim and it will never become a star. And an excessively massive, hot and bright protostar would be too unstable. But if they have just the right mass and temperature, they begin to fuse the hydrogen gas into helium and a star is born. Each star that is formed will take its appropriate place on the main sequence of the HR diagram. While they fuse hydrogen in their cores, stars spend their life on the main sequence. Like the majority of stars, our Sun is a main sequence star. But when it runs out of its fuel, hydrogen, it will evolve off the main sequence and as the Sun's hydrogen fused core collapses, it will reignite and fuse the helium in its core into carbon and oxygen. Its surface will expand and get cooler, and the Sun will turn into a red giant star. As the helium in the core is exhausted, the Sun will evolve into a planetary nebula, blowing off its outer layers, leaving behind a small, hot, white dwarf star that is rich in carbon and oxygen. Stars that are more massive than our Sun fuse their fuel more quickly and evolve off the main sequence to become red supergiant stars. These supergiants are able to fuse even heavier elements in their cores. When they run out of all their fuel, they end their lives in a supernova, leaving behind a very hot but small neutron star or a black hole. So thanks to the work of Hertzsprung and Russell, astronomers can now work out where a star is in its evolution if they know its true brightness and temperature.